Well, 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 well. I never thought I'd be making more Bears videos during the week leading up to the uh, Cincinnati Bengals game, but hey, the Bears keep coming out with head news and stuff like this and that, and there's nothing you can freaking do with this stupid team. If you didn't hear, yesterday, uh, for some apparent reason, offensive coordinator Bill Lazor, yes, the same Bill Lazor that last year called better plays than Mr. Matt Nagy himself, is, well, he had a press conference. And in that press conference, he absolutely freaking sucked. In other words, what I mean is, well, he gave us some details that, well, are pretty freaking interesting. Of the standpoint that, well, you know, they asked him the question about the whole Justin Fields thing. And essentially, Bill Lazor kind of just says, well, Justin, in my opinion, I think he's ready enough to handle anything for what he was thrown at. Um, and, uh... A question goes on reply, well then, obviously, why is he not essentially starting then? And essentially, Bill Lazor is like, well, you know, that's Matt's philosophy, you know, we're just, you know, behind him and stuff like that with all that aspect, so I, I really can't answer that question, you would have to ask him, but that's mostly what Matt thinks should be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like wonderful news. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, okay. You, they, they really gotta be kidding me with this crap that they're feeding. So, the offensive coordinator who doesn't call plays is one doing press conferences because why? It's not like he can speak on anything offensive related because I guarantee you he's not doing anything. Three, if you look at that press conference, he looks miserable. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. Honest to God, he sounds like he wants to be named interim head coach Bill Lazor. And personally, if you ask me, fine by me. Now, he doesn't have to be head coach next year That if Matt Nagy's fired. But lo and behold, if he wants to be interim head coach, more than well, more than music to my ears, because at least I think he knows some semblance of how to run this damn Chicago Bears offense. And I think he can do it definitely better than Mr. Matt Nagy, the clown prince of Chicago. But the problem here is this. The last couple of days, you've had some players, you know, kind of just talk about how Justin Fields has been doing. You know, Dave Montgomery saying Fields is special. Cole Komet, oh, he's that type of great player. You have Marquise Goodwin the other day. Freaking say, well, you know, when we don't really throw the ball down uh, 10 y past really 10 yards or anything deep, you know, it's it, it was just kind of interesting and odd to me, to say the least. So you already got Marquise Goodwin questioning the fact of what the hell is his offensive scheme? He's probably wishing he probably either stayed in freaking – Philadelphia, or he took his talents and went back to San Francisco. Now you got your damn offensive coordinator who doesn't call plays, mind you, who's probably on the headset, and he's probably just turning off his headset to where he's like, fucking hell, man, come on, man, do you not know what you're doing? And he's over there answering the questions that Matt Nagy needs to freaking answer for his own self. And this dude, it seems like the offensive coordinator doesn't believe what Matt Nagy's doing is the right thing to do. In other words, Matt, Bill Lazor knows, maybe we should just start the kid. Maybe we should not uh, have Andy Dalton as the starting QB for this team. Because you want to know why? He isn't getting it done. He isn't. 
and trust me, this is a Bill Lazor that coached with Andy Dalton back in Cincinnati. So out of anybody that will know Andy Dalton better than, well, any other offensive person, any other staff member, it probably would be Bill Lazor. <sighs> My goodness. So now it seems that, well, he had a few players who have openly in their press conference have spoken very highly of Justin Fields, which you could quote-unquote say, maybe they're turning on Nagy. Now it seems like your offensive coordinator is done with the bullshit too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to tell you something. If the Bears lose to the Cincinnati Bengals... If the Bears lose on Sunday to the Cincinnati Bengals, first type of game, early game morning, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 o'clock, obviously 1, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock Central Standard Time for my Chicago Bear fans. If they lose that game to the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm just going to tell you something. The Chicago media, the national media, Whatever the hell you want to freaking call type of media. The YouTube Chicago Bear community. All the good ones. Bears Ball Bar Room. You know, TTL. T, you know, t uh, the Tapes Never Lies Network. All those good stuff. I'll call all of those guys out. Because I like all of them. They lose this game. Andy Dalton started, and they lose to the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm just telling you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, tell I'm telling you. It's going to be a hell week for the Chicago Bears. They're going to get shat on by every single person. And, every and then guess what? Everybody's going to be like, well, you lost to Cincinnati. So you're going to finally wake up, Matt Nagy. Get out of your own ass. Get out of your own ego and finally start Justin Fields. And I guarantee you, Matt Nagy's going to go into the press conference and be like, well, you know, we have to look at the tape, you know. We understand. We have to understand why we lost, you know. And we need to have a little bit more collaboration on how to fix things that can't be fixed. You want to know what the problem solution is? Just start Justin Fields and give up your damn play calls. That's the solution. The next solution is you kindly step down as head coach. I'm done with this crap. Now you got your so-called offensive coordinator. He might as well just, guess what? Leave. He's not doing anything. Great. Now that seems like some of the coaching staff doesn't even believe what Matt Nagy's doing. So in other words, I'm led to believe this whole not starting Justin Fields is a Matt Nagy Ryan Pace project to save their asses. And that's the reason that they're doing that. People, you don't understand. Let me, let me break it down to you, Chicago Bear fans, the best I can. The reason why the Chicago Bears... And this goes for any NFL team from a Bears fans from a Bears fan standpoint. And this is just my personal opinion. Maybe other people agree with me, maybe you don't. I don't care. The reason why the Bears are not starting Justin Fields now is because of this. They're not starting Justin Fields is because they know. Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace know the moment they put in Fields, that's the moment their time starts. Their time is on the clock, like in the draft. Because they know if Justin Fields goes in there and the Bears offense still puts those pathetic, anemic numbers with Justin Fields in there and Justin Fields is doing the best he can. But guess what? They're not putting up points. They're not moving the ball. They're not throwing the ball deep. They're not doing anything that makes the offense go like it's always supposed to say because we're in year 404, right? We're in year 404. God. If that all happens, guess what? Management, I'm sorry. McCassie's got to look at this. They're going to be like, 
That's uh, three years straight you've had bottom tier offense and you haven't done anything. It's another year where you have a bad losing season. Even though you're back to the playoffs last year. So, uh, and you did this with the supposed rookie quarterback that you said you were going to make a genius. The hell is going on here? Even the McCaskies can't be that stupid, not, not enough to ask the questions of what the hell's going on? You said this is going to be your savior. You said, the, you know, when you get this kid in, everything's going to be different. You want to know why nobody buy? You want to know why? 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 Since they always like to use that term, that word along with collaboration. Why? Why, Matt Nagy? Why? You want to know why, Matt Nagy? Because you can't get out of your own way. And when that happens, if that happens, guess what? Matt Nagy's gone. And look at it, guys. They lose to the Bengals. They start the season 0-2. Then you go to Cleveland. And if you're still gun-ho on your whole not starting Justin Fields priority, then you're going 0-3. Then you got the Lions. I don't care if it's a home game. I don't care if it's the Detroit Lions. I'll say you're losing that game too. Yeah, I said it. The Lions almost came back against the 49ers. So I can definitely see this Chicago Bears team losing to the Lions. Now, obviously, it's going to depend how the defense plays in the next two weeks. If the defense can't rebound and they play piss poor like they did in week one, then I don't care what anybody says. They're going, they're starting the season 0-4. They're starting the season 0-4. And that's when you go to Las Vegas and you play the Raiders. Oh, wait, then you're probably going to lose that game too. Holy shit, they could be 0-5. By week 5, going into the Packers game, they could be 0-5. How crazy that is. Or at the least, 1-4. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good at all. I think that's a fireable offense right then and there. Now, I know the McCaskies don't like to fire coaches mid-season, but you would have to tell them, but you would have to ask them, like, do you think you can break away from the norm and actually, I don't know, fire a head coach during the middle of the season because you're just sick of it? <sighs> so, that could happen. And then when you get to the Packers game, you get into a stretch of game where, let's be honest, they're losing everything. And they could be on a free fall to hell. You lose the locker room if Andy Dalton's still starting throughout that potential free fall. And guess what? It's all over for you. Guess what? It's Mark Tressman again. Literally, Matt Nagy is a fusion between Mark Tressman and Adam Gase. The only difference with Mark Tressman is this. The difference is Mark Tressman actually had a fucking offense that could actually move the ball and was actually a top 10 offense from what I believe. It's been a while. But this is getting crazy. Your own offensive coordinator is essentially saying, I would have start fields if I was in the if I was the man running the show. But what is that saying? That's saying that, well, guess what? Maybe there's more members on that coaching staff. Maybe there's more members on that football team that know the truth. That know what every Chicago Bears fan is saying. What knows the media is saying. Then that knows what the, the regular national media is saying. Their own city media. Yada, yada, yada. I can go on, 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 on. Their former players. They all hear it. Don't you're lying. They're capping if they're saying if those all those teams, all the are all those players, all those coaches don't hear what the media is saying about them. Cuz guess what? The Bears are the number one thing, the number one team talked in sports day. And I never would have believed that. And you want to know why it's over the egotistical head coach for not doing the right thing and just putting the kid in. I ask the question again. How long? How 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 do you learn sitting on the sideline? 
How do you learn? It's like taking a fucking test. How do you fucking take... How do you freaking understand the material? How do you take the test um, without understanding the material? You're going to have to get the material of what it's like to learn. Same thing with math. Simple addition. You can't take a test and not know anything about addition. You have to take the steps to learn addition by doing the work. In other words, the only way Justin feels I feel, in my opinion, is going to truly learn and truly adjust his game to be a great NFL caliber starting quarterback is he needs to go in the game and he needs to go play. Sitting on the sidelines is only going to do so much. You need that experience. You need that experience. It's like in high school football. You can be a highly talented you know, player on the freshman team. The varsity wants to bring you up to the varsity team. Friday Night Lights. Well, guess what? They bring you up because they see what you're doing on a lower level. Okay, let's put you in and see what you can do on the top level. The top dogs. The fresh, the varsity level. Where the best of the best play. That's Friday Night Lights. They don't sit you for a year and then say... Hey, sophomore year, you'll be in the varsity starting lineup. We're going to bring you up so you can get the experience on sitting on the sideline, what it's like to be on Friday nights. <laughs> they don't cut it. You learn playing. And the fact that Matt Nagy doesn't understand that, well, guess what? Fine. Lose the locker room. Lose your coaching staff. Because I think Bill Lazor has already lost trust and out of favor with Matt Nagy. I said in my post-game recap, I said in my freaking video that I said the Bears ain't fooling nobody. And again, they're not fooling nobody. With what David Montgomery did, paired that up with Justin Fields, holy shit, the RPO is crazy. Because now guess what? Defense are going to be like, is Fields going to pull the ball and run on his own tags? Or is he going to just give it to Montgomery? What are we doing? I'm done with this. I'm done. I'm done. Honestly, you know, I might be a Bear fan, and I want them to win every damn game. But fuck. Sometimes you just hope. You just pray. You just, just see and want to see. How are they going to fuck this up again? Because I see them losing. And honestly, I kind of want them to lose. Now you may say Camry 15, why as a Bears fan, why do you want them why do you want the Bears to lose? You're not being a true fan. I just maybe want them to lose so then we can finally get rid of this dude who thinks he's running the show, who thinks this place is Kansas City, which it's not. It's Chicago, Illinois. It's not Kansas City, Missouri. <sighs> Anyways, listen, that's it. You know, Bill Lazor clearly is not trusting his whole plan. We now know what Bill Lazor would have did if he was the head coach. He would have started Justin Fields. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, guys, I'm the guy of her. Again, I'll uh, do a Bears game recap on Sunday. I just want to get my point across because now hearing the words from the press conference from Bill Lazor, it goes to show you that this team, there, there, there is not that this team has a lot of problems. You have play, you have a disconnect between the GM and the head coach with the rest of the coaches and the team. And I'm telling you, if Matt Nagy loses that locker room, not only players but coaches. I'm telling you, man, nobody's ever gonna nobody's ever gonna believe his ass again. I've always been on the record. The moment the Bears fire him, he's never gonna get another job again, another coaching gig again. The least he might get is a high school position. That type of offense he's running now, that's what you do in high school. Against high school, that's offensive genius incentive stuff. That's stuff that, you know, off high school, you know, media is like. That's great stuff. You can put up numbers 
with high school offenses like that. Because you want to know why? You're dealing with 14 to 18-year-old kids. You can get away with that stuff against kids. Against grown adults? Probably not. You might be able to get away with that in college. Probably not in college. If not, he can be a good position coach, a good QB coach. After that, he should never get another head coach offensive coordinator gig again because he's getting exposed. Anyways, I'm going to guide it for him. Leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on the Chicago Bears problems. What are your thoughts on Bill Lazor's comments of the fact that he believes that Justin Fields should be starting? Hit the subscribe button if you want to get more Chicago Bears content. Again, I'll be here uh, Sunday afternoon or whenever. Um, upload that probably live as a premiere video on my channel. Give me my game recap of the Chicago Bears' potential loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. In my case, I hope they kind of lose so then we can kind of freaking move on and see. I just want them to lose to see how the media is going to react. Because I know the media is going to be in flames and they're going to roast Matt Nagy. Trust me, the more losses this happens with Andy Dalton starting as a quarterback, the more questions are going to be asked. Why is Fields not starting? Why is Fields not starting? More questions to ask. Again, I wish I was a reporter in Chicago. I wish I was. I'd be grilling Matt Nagy with the tough questions. Anyways, I'm the guy for. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Until then, guys, peace.